Welcome to Konoha Corner. Naruto for the big kids. And maybe some adults. Gothic Gara. I'm Sai. I'm Pain. I'm Haku. I'm Sasori. I'm Toby. I'm Kakasu. I'm Sakura. I'm Tamari. I'm Choji. I'm Ino. I'm Hinata. I'm Naruto. I'm Jiraiya. I'm Doctor from the Ass Backwards Anime Podcast. I'm going to be loving that now. I'm going to be the king of Pride Rock. <laughs> 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 black and white come out tomorrow, and I don't have the money to purchase either. I don't either. It's black and white. Okay. I have a zebra. Fine for <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> then why are you laughing? You can just shoot up. <laughs> We've got surprise tapes. I got a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Right here, right now, number two. Really? Please <laughs> oh, tell me we're keeping that. That's gonna be no. You gotta pay for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to pay the shit. <laughs> I would never pay for that. Until I mmm, mmm, mmm. Until you mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I think that's your fourth mmm. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I th- now I think you're just trying to do it on purpose. No, that one was actually I stopped and I read at the same time and I didn't come out of my mouth. Just, just uh, give me uh, bacon. <laughs> bacon. Bacon. Bacon, bacon. We've had our first official bacon statement of the podcast. I remember. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I read it and I was just going to say thank you for thrusting me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's why why I did you not say that? It was funny in my brain. The word pudding sounds funny to you, Naruto. Pudding is chocolate, which goes in my mouth. Mm. Welcome everybody to Toby's Tales. Da da. Fuck off. No. Farewell, you goddamn it. <laughs> pubes. pubes. Farewell, pubes. <laughs> Farewell, pubes. I knew you well. Not really. Your bike is gay. <laughs> oh, fuck off, I love the way you said that. I am so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbation makes you gay. Shit. At ten years old, I was a flaming queer. Just in time, Toby's tales, man. I don't know what we're talking about, and I can't improperly. He's trying to write this shit right now. Give him a minute. I will poop on you, doctor, but I won't. What? Oh, snap. Suddenly this bitch has fucking fed. <laughs> this is the stuff that we are going to charge people to listen to. <laughs> So, hello, and welcome to episode 137 of Konoha Corner. Uh, part of the crew is missing today because they're at uh, Kanuga, which is the Chattanooga convention in February. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no Jiraiya this week, no Itachi, no Yondi. I don't even know if Naruto and Kakashi are on or not. If they are, well, uh, great. You might hear them for the manga. If not, then we'll probably have other people doing their dialogue for the manga. They're probably out doing some secret jutsu or something like that. Sure, that's what we'll call it. (laughs) Sexy jutsu. Uh, Whatever. Uh, Welcome to Konoha Corner, where we have perfected the permanent sexy no jutsu. Uh, Yeah, we've got uh, chapter 571 to talk about and do the read-through in the manga. Uh, Posted up both of the quickies for uh, 573 and 574, respectively. So uh, you can go ahead and hear those. We're going to post them up on YouTube pretty soon. I know that we're backlogged. There's a lot of work we got to do in it, it, working with the podcast. I've been working with uh, on Ganbare kind of nonstop and haven't been able to get the podcast stuff done lately, and that's my fault. So yell at me and fan mail, whatever you want. Also, 
Uh, we're getting geared up and ready for Ganbare and also for Momocon. We're going to have a lot of fun at Momocon. We got our t-shirts in, so all the people that are going to be at Momocon are going to be wearing the pimping awesome Konoha Corner t-shirts. Uh, I'm in the process of working with people on designs for the fairy tale stuff, and if you haven't heard, we're doing a video thing for the rest of this week. We're trying to get a bunch of people to send in video saying Ganbare Japan and uh, make that into a video collage. I know Todd Habercorn's doing one. We got one from everybody from uh, Shelf Life doing it, so that was really cool. So that's Tara Platt and Yuri Lowenthal, as well as Travis Willingham, and I don't remember the fourth person. It's so bad. I I'm a horrible person. You can blame me for that. But some really cool news coming in from that. Even though we've got like a bunch of the crew missing, we've got Choji, we've got Haku, we've got Sasuke, we've got Toby, we've got Sai, we've got Pain, and we've got Eno. Uh, Kakazu is dropping in and out, so I'm not sure what the situation is with that. It, it, where he lives, the internet where he lives is pretty bad, so he'll be Yikes. popping on and off all the time. So he keeps dropping out just like his bank account. Ah, <laughs> that's but unlike unlike the uh, unlike the internet, the bank account's actually your problem, Toby. That's your fault. So. Fuck you, Toby. <laughs> so we'll have Toby's tales. We'll have Culture Corner. Uh, no Japanese words this week, uh, and uh, no ninja facts. No fan art. We're just gonna keep on trucking. We may have some fan mail. I've I've got the email open, and I'm checking on her Facebook. So maybe we will have no some emails. Stuff to talk about. <laughs> no emails, but uh, just in case. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, with that having been said, we're going to move on to the news. So our first one this week is a bit of sad news. Verizon drops the Funimation channel from the Fios service. Uh, American telecommunications company Verizon sent out an email message to subscribers of the Fios television service this week to inform subscribers that it will drop the Funimation channel on the service on or after March 15th. The message cited very low viewership as the reason for the drop. The channel remains available on AT&T, Uverse, Xfinity, Charter, and several other small cable operators. Funimation's network manager, Amanda Nanawa, provided ANN with the following statement. We appreciate the outpouring of support for the Funimation Channel Nation regarding this sudden notice. After learning of Verizon Fios TV decision, we are discussing our options to maintain Funimation Channel's presence on their platform. We promise to keep our legion of fans posted through our website and social media pages and encourage our fans to call Verizon Fios TV to voice your opinion. So, yeah, uh, without support, and if people aren't watching it, of course it's going to get dropped. They've got to have, you've got to have ratings. If you don't get ratings, I didn't actually know that they had a Verizon Fios thing on there. Otherwise, I'd have been watching like crazy. But, uh, yeah, I just didn't know about that. So that's, that's news to me. Shows how much I'm in touch with the anime world. I suck at this. Yeah. Uh Again, if you want to check out all of our news stuff, it's going to be available on the uh, Facebook page, and we'll post them on Twitter. We're going to post all our links to these things. So, All right, our next one is Kenichi Video Anime Project's first seven-minute stream. Now, this is this is an OVA. Uh, the official website for Shogaku Khan's weekly Shonen Sunday magazine began streaming the first seven minutes from their first Kenichi the Mighty Disciple OVA on Wednesday. The first OVA will be bundled with the 46th Kenichi the manga volume on March 16th, and the second OVA will ship with the 47th manga volume in May. Shun, or, or Shun Matsuena's manga already inspired a television anime series that Funimation released in North America. Most of the television voice cast are returning for the pro video project. However, Rei Kugamiya is replacing the late Tomoko Kawakami and Fuzuru... Fujimoto is taking the place of Hiroshi Arikawa, who passed away last year. So, uh, I mean, kind of has to happen. I mean, if your voice actors are no longer among the living, you do have to replace them. I'm hoping that these two do well. They're, they're stepping into some pretty big shoes, and this is a really, really good anime series. Like, I love Kenichi. I haven't, I haven't read all of the manga yet, and I'm 
in the process of doing that. But I watched season one of the anime, and it was awesome! So, go check out Kenichi if you haven't already. It's really, really hilarious. It's very funny, and there's lots of martial arts all over it. And fan service abounds. Our next one is uh, voice actor Tsuyoshi Koyama and singer Mikuni Shimokawa get married. So... Actually, for once, we've got good stuff in voice actor news. It's not somebody died. Yay! It's a it's a wedding! Yay! They announced on Valentine's Day that they got married on the same day. So they got married on Valentine's. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you're gonna never, ever live that down. Koyama voiced Kamen Rider Odin in Kamen Rider Ryuki and worked on such anime series as Utawara... Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to pronounce Utawara that. Utawara Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Busorinken and Ice Shield 21, Shikomakara performed theme songs for several Full Metal Panic anime series as well as for Kino's Journey, Sayuki, Blue Dragon, and Fairy Tail. So that's that's kind of the part of the reason why they made it in. I saw Fairy Tail in it and I was like, ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. All right. Our next one is Kingdom Hearts 3D's 10-minute special trailer stream. Now, I, I kind of went over this and most of the crew were listening while I played this and it was... So I apologize. Uh, It was actually pretty interesting, but uh, Square Enix began streaming a 10-minute special trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance action role-playing game on Tuesday. The game will ship in Japan on March 29th in three editions, including one of the exclusive Kingdom Hearts Nintendo 3DS unit, and another with bonuses to celebrate the franchise's 10th anniversary. Uh, No word yet so far on on what the release date for the the U.S. is going to be U.S. or anybody else. This is just Japan only that we know about. All right, so our last bit, we're going to go through the uh, manga rankings for the uh, New York Times manga list or whatever. And uh, I, sadly, Naruto is not in it this time. But, uh, the I mean, considering how long Volume 53 hung in there, that's amazing. So coming in at number 10 was Black Butler Volume 8. At ninth was... Kamisama Kiss, Volume 7. At 8 was Dudadada, Volume 1. Uh, coming in in 7th place was Library Wars, Love and War. 6th place was Sailor Moon, Volume 3. 5th place was Blue Exorcist, Volume 6. 4th was Bakuman, Number 9. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds jumped into, or dropped down to the 3rd place spot. Nagima Volume 33 took second, and Bleach 38 took first. So uh, we'll see how that shuffles around and everything next week, and we'll we'll let you know. Keep you up to date on these things. But as always, if you want to check out all of our awesome stuff, uh, just head over to facebook.com slash Konoha Corner Podcast, and you can see all of the latest news that we talk about and see for yourself. Check out any of the trailers we're talking about, because those are all up there. And uh, I'm going to move things over to Sai, who has our Naruto news. I have three pieces of news for you today. Sorry for my lack of enthusiasm. I'm shagged. Not in a good way. It seems that Kaburochi could be in Naruto Generations. Kaburochi. Yeah. Kaburochi. It's, it's a rumor at the minute. We are we are left with speculations, and we are also left hungry and confused about this information. So keep on, keep your ears out and noses to the ground. Blah blah blah. I'll tell you if I find anything out. Okay. So the interesting bit this is for everybody. Naruto Generations Kakashi story ad with English subtitles. Watch Hello. and be amazed. Ah. Why are you saying hello? <laughs> Somebody I know is going to really want this. It's basically, it's going over the Kakashi Gaiden story in the anime. The gameplay looks epic. So close to the anime, actually, it's scary. <laughs> but yes, the vid- the video will be linked, so you can look at this. I just thought I saw it. <laughs> Same with the next one I'm going to talk about. It's um, Minato's story. So it follows the story from... <laughs> the recent arc that we're having right now and the giant Rasengan that he produces <laughs> is uh, quite spectacular again I just but this time with some piss and shit maybe a little bit of dribble but horrifying yes. horrifying <laughs> no but anyway um, that, this comes out on the 30th of March 
<laughs> and so, I have it pre-ordered. I'm so happy. Same for me. <laughs> I'll be on my 360 for like a week. You bitches aren't going to hear from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that's all I have for news this week. So I'm going to post it back to Gara. Alrighty, so yeah, that does it for all of our news. Again, uh, check Facebook and Twitter because we posted all of our stuff on there. And uh, we are going to move on to the anime recap. Alright, so this week's episode was episode 250. Alright, so in this episode, what happens is uh, Naruto shows off his Nine Tails form to Yamato and Killer B and discovers Kisame! Oh, he's been hiding inside the sword. And so Kisame busts out and, he lo- and, it's, and it's the spiky burrito! Oh, the spiky burrito! And Naruto goes, Oh no, you didn't, Yellow Flash no Jutsu, I'll slam you into the wall! But he does it too well and gets his foot stuck and, like, sprains his ankle. Naruto, you doofus. A guy goes to the waterfalls of truth. He's about to fight his other self and Kisame pops out and everybody confuses him for a puffer fish. And at one point in time, Guy Sensei actually thought that was his inner self, which I would laugh so hard <laughs> if that was Guy Sensei's inner self was, was burrito Kisame. <laughs> but this was definitely, I love this, because um, like, the anime's going through it kind of really, really quick. It's the same on Fairy Tale for some reason. Like The anime... The anime of Fairy Tale went through like five chapters in like one episode, and I was like, "Oh shit, wow!" But uh, it's going through it pretty quick here because this was like about three chapters worth of content in one episode. So we get all of this stuff going, and then um, the final fight between Guy and Kisame, and Kisame uses his Kisame Hameha, and Guy Sensei's is like, "Oh no, you didn't, Tiger Uppercut!" and then. Yeah, that's that's what it was, Tiger Uppercut, and even though it was totally a straight jab. We're just going to say fuck it, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, after the Kisame Hameha versus... What was that guy's name on Street Fighter? Which guy? Which guy? The seven. <laughs> the guy, guy that uses Ryu. Tiger Uppercut. Was it Sagat? Oh, Sagat. Sagat? Yeah, uh, yeah okay. Tiger. <laughs> it pretty much ends with Kisame Hameha versus Tiger Uppercut. So, uh, let's go around the call see what everybody thought. Choji, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. Haku. Halfway. Sasuke. Halfway. Tovi. Thumbs up. Pain. Thumbs up. And Eno. Thumbs up. What was one thing you liked or didn't like? Choji. Uh, the uh, uppercut. <laughs> the tiger uppercut? Yeah. Haku. I didn't like how they make Hisame just look totally wimpy in this episode. It was just like, yeah, this big blue dude, Eesh. but he sucks. <laughs> He's half dead. <laughs> yeah, he's half dead. I mean, come on. It's not It's not like, you know, Nine Tails mode Naruto just punched him in the face immediately or anything. I know, but between the manga and the anime, the manga had more to offer Kisame than this episode did. There's more to it than what's going on right now. We get the backstory of Kisame next. But actually, mm-hmm. Kisame without the coat on actually, is a, actually looks kind of skinny. And you got to remember, he had serious chakra drain. For being yeah. a Samihata, so he was supposed to look like he was anorexic at the beginning. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Sasuke. I actually enjoyed the humor in it. it okay. I thought it was well timed with the guy g- looking to Kasame in his burrito form and just saying, Pufferfish? Right? It's a pufferfish. Toby. I have to agree with the whole pufferfish thing, but for some reason, in the manga, wasn't it like a tiger against the sharks, but in the anime, it was a bear? No, 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 it was a tiger in the anime. I could have sworn because, because really because the uh, subtitles that I that I watched said grizzly bear, and I'm like, why would it be a bear instead of not a tiger? You watched a horribly shitty sub then, sir. <laughs> Damn you, people! <laughs> apparently, what, apparently where you watched it from, it was horrible. Pain. I actually enjoyed the whole uh, humor of the uh, sword trying to eat uh, B's arm, and he's just not even taking it seriously. He's like, oh, nibble, 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 nibble. It's like, nibble, it nibble, loves nibble. me. Instead of the wiggle song, now it's the nibble song. Oh, God. Nibble, 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 nibble. Yeah. And Eno. I liked it all. Especially the fighting. Yay, violence. 
<laughs> you violent person. Uh, so that bear is stealing children. And, uh, <laughs> that bear is stealing children. Burn the witch. Burn the witch. Right. And stealing children. Oh, my God. So, um, anime or manga, which did y'all prefer this week? Choji. I'd say anime. Haku. Manga. Sasuke. Manga. Toby. Anime. Pain. Anime! Hino. Anime! I was like, I wonder if we're going to start a war between the anime and manga lovers. Like, that'd be fun. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> it, it take place in Arizona, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is going to wrap us up for the anime recap, and uh, we are going to move on to Toby and his little tales. And now it's time to rot your mind with Toby's Tales! <laughs> I like how Toby's Tales hadn't even started. All we had to say was welcome to Toby's Tales and already brain death. <laughs> Today's episode on Toby's Tales, we are starting back where Toby went into space, along with Jiraiya, Mr. Pigeon, and EK of the Lobsters. And hopefully they'll all stay there. Nope, because we're coming right back next week. However, I feel sorry for Jiraiya. Why? Well, that is what today's episode is about. Back on last episode, Toby Toby turned Mr. Pigeon into a giant space pigeon, and him, along with Jiraiya and EK, flew into the sky and went onto a space station. Jiraiya was constantly at work trying to find the porno magazines hidden in the space shuttle, because astronauts need them just as much as he does. So anyway, upon doing this job, Toby comes across a giant control panel with a giant doom button sitting right there in red. However, Toby did not like it, so he put a muffin on it, meaning that he wanted to push it. However, everybody was like, no, don't push the button. But then Toby was distracted by a shiny object on the floor. Toby bent down to get the shiny object. Meanwhile, back in the corner, Jiraiya is constantly at work trying to find the portal magazines, but accidentally stumbles upon the escape pod. Fortunately, it wouldn't really be much much of an accident because he probably meant to find it to begin with. However, to fire the escape pod, you had to be in the control room, which is where Toby was. So where Jiraiya would go would be all up to Toby. Oh, God. This is going to (laughs) be horribly. Toby then finds the shiny object, and it turns out to be a shiny bottle cap on the floor. Toby will take this bottle cap and name it Bob. Toby then puts it in his pocket. However, Toby then looks around and says, Wow, look at all this planets. Wait a minute. Planets? Wait a minute. These aren't planets. They're like they're like accessing the universes. Oh look, there's one piece. There's the full metal alchemist. Look at all the different worlds. Toby must destroy one world. Toby then tries to find the giant destroyer button. However, he ends up using the button that fires the escape pod. Toby then apparently uses a giant microscope microscope to look all the way through the world. Toby finds the one place that looked entirely evil because he had to destroy it. And Toby looked into the world of One Piece. Apparently it was nothing but water, so he got bored real easily. But then he finds that creepy transvestite island that Sanji went to in One Piece. God. That island must die. Yeah, there's no way you can destroy One Piece. Toby must destroy this one island because it is a, it is pink and has rainbows on it. That must die. Toby, however, fires the escape pod instead of a deadly missile, sending Jiraiya to this creepy island. I feel sorry for him. It would have been funnier if you just sent him to the Pokemon world. <laughs> <laughs> Which is worse in the Pokemon world. I don't know, but you sent Jiraiya to the Transvestite Island, so that's pretty funny, too. (laughs) 
Where, well, Sanji pretty much hated it, too. <laughs> anyway, Toby then looked around saying, hmm, where'd Jiraiya go? Later on the island, Jiraiya screaming, God damn you, Toby. <laughs> and then Toby says, hmm, what can Toby do now? Ooh, ooh, I know. I can fire this deadly laser thingy. No, no, not, not, that doesn't sound fun. I remember what Payne told me about deadly lasers. Only fire them in case of an emergency. Hmm. Destroying his van counts is an emergency. Oh, God. <laughs> All of a sudden, Toby then goes over to the giant evil laser and aims it for, to- for all the vans in the world. Toby pushes the button, and it destroys every van in the known universe. Toby, I hate to tell you this, but I had two seasons of fairy tale in that van. Yay! Are you saying yay to blowing up fairy tale? <laughs> and they were Gar's birthday. And they were Gar's birthday gifts, and they were signed. Oh well, it's your own fault for putting them in your van. Surely you would know by now that you're. That's two reasons. That's episode. two reasons why you shouldn't return to Earth. Number one is if you destroyed all the vans, that means you destroyed the Ninja Turtle van, which makes me mad. They exist. <laughs> Yeah. You I want will their autograph. Die. And the mystery in the mystery machine. They and, and, and the mystery do. machine. Uh, yeah. I, I thought they were a fairy tale. tale. From QB Doo. What about then, Miss, What about Mr. T's man? I don't. I don't care. Mr. B, that. sorry. And then and then the fairy tale stuff. Don't don't return to Earth, Toby. If you know what's good for you, don't return to Earth. Toby then that pats himself on the back for destroying all the vans in the world. And then tells Mr. Pigeon to turn back into a spaceship. Toby then flies all the way back down to Earth, where he meets up with Payne and Kakazu. Hi, guys! I just had the most funnest adventure. I sent your ride to, an, to a creepy island full of nothing but pink and rainbows. And then I also destroyed all the vans in the world. So, looks, so Payne, let's say you're going to have to switch to a convertible now. Oh, I'm going to just... I'm going to get a bike. I'm going to just get a bicycle. <laughs> They're cheap. I wouldn't do that. I accidentally created a army of mice that devour metal, and they took quite a liking of bikes. Screw this! I'm gonna just be a walker. I'm gonna just walk everywhere I go. Um, is this too late to tell you about the man-eating Diglett? Is <laughs> nothing safe? Nope. No, not in, not for me. Toby then walks over to a lake with a fishing pole and fishes into the river, trying to find what he can fish up. While on the other hand, Payne is running for his life, being chased by a giant evil army of man-eating diglets. Toby? Yes? Get ready, because this is how the story is going to end this week. Have you said your prayers? Um, in- Gara is using his sand to lift Toby into the air and drown him in the lake as much as he possibly can. He's also using his super ninja skills to teach the, all the fish in the lake th- that Toby is very, very tasty and they should start nibbling. And Pan is above him about to use the almighty push. No, no, you're still running from the oh, diglet, dude. Yeah. You're not safe. <laughs> That's it. Toby, for your birthday, we're taking you to the cupcake store. It's not possible. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take you to Chuck E. Cheese and <laughs> leave you there. Yay, giant endless ball pits! Yay! You don't have that anymore. Filled with Orochimaru snakes. Bazinga. Bazinga. Toby, Uh, for some reason, makes it out of the lake and then starts running for his life as all the fishies turn into giant mutant ninja fish and chase him. Will Toby make it away from the mutant fish? God, I hope not. Will Gara? finally realize that he has a special gift in teaching aquatic mammals or and fish ninjutsu, just like Toby did with the narwhals. Will Payne escape the diglet? Find out next week on another exciting episode of Toby's Tales. I have nothing more to say after this, so let's just move on to Culture Corner. <laughs>
welcome to this week's Culture Corner, where I'm finally present, and I'm not getting, and I'm not getting, I don't even know, replaced by pain, or Toby, even. That was the uh, best episode ever. Hey, at least okay. I can talk about Yeah, that. for last week's Valentine's Day, they talked about love hotels. Oh, God, I was so glad I wasn't on. Okay, well... This week we're going to learn about the legendary or the supposed legendary abilities that nin- that the real ninjas in Japan during the feudal era actually possessed. So, of course, everybody knows that superhuman or supernatural powers are often associated with the ninja. Some of the legends include flight, invisibility, shape shifting, or the shape ability shifting. As I said, no, you said shape shifting. <laughs> shifting. I can't speak. Shifting shapes. <laughs> The ability to split into multiple bodies, the summoning of animals, and of course the control over the five classical elements. Of course, this is a romantic idea. This is it's it, everything stems from popular uh, belief that these ninjas can do anything. However, it's just summon Captain Planet. However, if you, one looks at how it was done, it, you'll see that it was actually quite simple. How do you think uh, fire? fire techniques came about during the feudal area era excuse me fireworks <laughs> well that's close um, gunpowder flaming ninjas alcohol I, I think so, so I, I, oh, I know someone was trying to make well, someone was using rocks because they wanted to beat the other rock and then someone farted and then the sparks <laughs> ignite and caused fire <laughs> I was gonna say zombie apocalypse, but yeah, that too. Burning ash no jutsu. <laughs> That's a... Oh my god! <laughs> no! Do I get well, a per- Perceived control of the elements may be grounded in real tactics, which was categori- categorized under the association with forces of na- uh, with forces of nature. For example, the practice of starring fires in order to cover a ninja's trail falls under katon no jutsu, which is fire techniques. Katon. Katon. Not katon. No farty no jutsu. Oh my god. That's only when Naruto's fighting Kiba. <laughs> the ninja's ad- adaptation of kites and espionage and warfare is another subject of legends, though. There are accounts that exist of ninja being lifted into the air by kites, where they flew over hostile terrain and descended into or drops bomb or drop bombs on enemy territory. Hostile. Hostile, not that's hostile. R- that's what I said! I can't speak! You know this! You said hostile. <laughs> Actually, um, pain. For water jutsu, it, it, was, it was very easy. They'd scout out a lake earlier, and then they put pillars of thin wood just under the surface of the water. So when they ran across, so they would plot the, the lake, not, uh, marking each where each plot of wood was, and then the ninja going where wherever from would walk across the planks of, would walk across the wood, but t- to the enemies it looked like he'd be walking on water. Dream wrecker. I thought that's they actually Jesus. walked on that's... water. It's like that time that you told me that Santa Claus wasn't real. That's that's how Jesus did it. Santa Claus isn't real? Silly silly boy, of course he's not. Sorry, Toby. <laughs> A lot of these, uh, a lot of the ninja techniques that people have made over the years, uh, it's just have, a sham. It's just pretty much just a sham, and a lot what of about the, the references, gun? a lot of the references uh, can can be seen in Shun Tzu's uh, Art of War book. Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu's Art of War. Yes, moving on. Well, next week we'll be learning about. The esoterical practice in which ninjas perform the array of hand seals. All right, so, yeah, that is going to wrap us up for Culture Corner. We are going to move on to fan mail. Our first fan mail is from Cosmon De Gennaro. Hey Konoha crew, greetings and salutations from Katsukon 18. It's my birthday! Smiley face! Well you know what that means. Special birthday muffin? 
<laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> so, Double step. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday, dear Cosmo. Happy Thank birthday you. to you. Smile Monkey. like an Even though you probably won't hear this for another couple weeks. Shazam. Is the thought that bitches. counts. Is the thought that counts. Okay, so our next one is from Char. Hi, your stalker here. I miss you guys. Please post the app soon. Oh, did Toby get my muffin with the truth serum in it? We need to know who the hell he is. Hi, Toby. Not much to it. Our next one comes from Tiffany Trin, or aka the Asian Twinkie. Hey, I give up. Call me whatever the hell you want. Okay. Okay, Twinkie, yeah. thanks. <laughs> We win! We win! Yeah. Our next one comes from Philip. He says, Hey, going to Hot Corner, just wanted to say y'all are awesome and keep up the good work. This new one comes from Courtney Davis. Hey, Corner Hot Corner, just wanted to say I love you guys. Keep it up, you guys. Heart. Sean Stockwell says, Hello again, Gara. Hello. <laughs> just wanted to point out, I will not volunteer to be tested in a muffin... Uh, I will not volunteer to be tested if a muffin may or may not be able to rape anything. LOL. Maybe one of Toby's lobsters could do it instead. <laughs> Although probably not a female, because I don't think anyone would want a lobster muffin mutation except Toby. Yay! Me I'm want not. one giant lobster that shoots blueberry bombs. Sorry for my terrible use of commas. Why do you people insist on giving Toby more horrible ideas? Why? It's like a bug. It creeps into your it creeps into your brain through your nose and just sits on your brain and tells you to do stupid things. <laughs> okay, so now we now that we've had Toby's incursion into Starship Troopers, we're gonna move on to the manga recap. <laughs> Alright, so this week's chapter is chapter 571, and it's called Beat You Mode. And it starts off with uh, kind of that mirror face thing going on between QB and Naruto. And then you see Naruto entering a new form of Ninetales mode as he and Kurama's chakra uh, kind of meld together. Naruto, don't tell me you. Ugh. And then we have. The massive amount of the other Biju all together getting ready to uh, unleash their their nine tail or their uh, Biju Dama, their the Biju bombs. Talk about having balls in your face. This is bad. Guy, don't move. I'll blast them away with my convoy. There's too many. That won't cut it. I'll have to open the eighth gate. Fool! If you do that. You'll die. Yes, but... Naruto, things look bad over there. Five closer than Biju bombs in the air. Yeah. I know! <laughs> zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. What the? So fast! Master? Is... Is that Naruto? Boom! <clears throat> That's within a Biju's power? The mountains... Ah, uh, they were all repelled. In that case, and, then, and now we have all the tail beasts <laughs> coming into their full tail beast form. Tail attack! Anyway, here they come. Let's go, Kudama. Here they come. Here come no the Biju. <laughs> They're the demons with tails. Woo! They're the demons, and they're gonna be screaming at someone. Yeah, probably Naruto. Here Ooh. they go. Ooh. Oh god, now we've got now I love how the QB looks so badass and wicked in this now. It's like Aah! And then Naruto, we see like this is like a, a, it almost looks like Sage Mode meets Naruto uh, meets Nine Tails mode for Naruto. It's pretty badass. I love how he looks. 
Is that a BG transformation Naruto unveiled? That Nine Tails. What's going on? We're inside the Nine Tails chakra. Toby, what word was highlighted? <laughs> oh God! Inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now we've got Naruto talking to Kurama. I guess I'll be Kurama. I have a question. Oh, God. I don't understand this. That there's regular Naruto, then there's Seiji, Derp Naruto. Like, awesome. I don't... The clone clone is in Sage mode. The actual Naruto is in the full new Ninetales mode. Okay. He's using the clone to find all the chakra sensors. Okay. I was wondering, because I was like, why is there two of them? Because two's better than one. Who knew? Double your pleasure. Ah! (laughs) Double the pleasure. Double the fun. First, let's find everyone's rots. Just so you know, we don't have much time. It's our first Biju transformation, and the link isn't perfect. We've got only about five minutes. That's plenty. There's a bunch of you. There's a bunch of you. So it can't be as gentle as with Son, all right? I like how I like how QB's like using wrestling moves on people now. It's like, oh no, oh no! Like, like, is anybody having flashbacks of uh, of the Raccoon fight? Mm. <laughs> I like how he punches like the slug. He's like, get off me, bitch! Oh. <laughs> like QB's going full out, and I like how how uh, Nine Tails just or the Eight Tails just comes in and like. Lends a hand. He's like, "Oh no, you don't!" Uh, turtle in a ball. And then the stampeding dolphin horse thing. I ain't falling for that trick twice. Then he knocks him into the forest and kills a bunch more trees because you know we just haven't had enough devastation for one fight. Screw the Jesus ecosystem. Planet. Naruto doesn't believe in saving the planet. Captain, no. planet screw the air. So that's why there's no trees in Arizona. That's why. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly why. Somewhere Al Gore is having a fit. Now we've got Grar, and then we move on to. I like how I like how Nine Tails just kind of swings one of the tailed beasts. He's like da 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 da, home run, and he knocks the he knocks the kitty out of the park. Found them all. They are Pokemon. Yeah, they are. Uh, Gotta catch them. There are B Pokemon here. All right, this this is a monster smackdown. I like watching Godzilla. You know what? I can actually imagine Toby saying that. <laughs> Just for some reason. Where's the popcorn? Oh, God. <laughs> he exceeded my expectations. I'll have to go after him like I mean to kill. And now we have and now we have Monster Rally going on. And oh, no! They're all combining for a massive Biju bomb. No! Isn't that pretty big for one of those? Maybe they're pulling their power? What now, Naruto? And now he creates a black testicle. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe, it's no, 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 that's what it is, that's what it is. Naruto is, Naruto is summoning the magic eight ball to find out what's going to happen next chapter. Exactly. <laughs> it's like wait, 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 it's a giant eight ball with giant black sperm coming out of it? No, it's not black sperm, he's just working on forming the eight ball. I'm forming it. Uh-huh. With equal force. Naruto's gonna cancel it out. He's never succeeded at that route. But during training, it's something he sometimes did do. And now I know he'll get it right this time, too. Yeah, boy! Oh, we know Boom! Boom, mother! Boom! Oh, what will happen next time? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> Beat you, bomb! To be continued in chapter 572. All right, so yeah, that is going to wrap us up for this chapter, and it's time for us to go around and see what everybody thought. Shoji. Thumbs up. Ch- uh, Haku. Yeah, ch- Chaku. Chaku. <laughs> Chaku? Yeah. Naruto. Apu. Kakashi. Up. Kakazu. Up. Pain. Up. Sasuke. Opposite of down. <laughs> what? Down. You can't think it. What you you can't think of the word up? I want you to say it. Oh fuck off. <laughs> you know. Up. Toby. Up and up 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 up. See, look how many people here can say that word. It's only one syllable, and yet Sasuke. 
Especially if it's especially if I'm able to say it. Oh, oh no, God. that's a good sign. All right. Anyway, so what is one thing you liked or did not like about this chapter, Choji? I liked all the biju coming together and going blah, throwing up in one big pile. You know, throwing at Naruto. Haku. I liked how the QB just totally kicked ass. Naruto. He likes the throwing up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the badassery of Naruto and his second ness. I like how you said that, badassery, instead badassery. of badassery, instead of badassery, badassery. That, that makes it sound so, that makes it sound so, like, hoity-toity. I like it. Kakashi. I like his new costume, and I like the total Kamehameha moment at the end. <laughs> Kamehameha with your mouth. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you missed it Kamehameha. the anime. You missed you missed the uh, the anime, but we were talking about the Kisame Hameha versus the Tiger Uppercut. <laughs> so we made this. We basically made this whole podcast right there a Dragon Ball Z slash Street Fighter. Yeah, no, no. One thing can beat both of them. Morning Peacock. Morning Peacock. <laughs> Afternoon Gorilla. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Out of my what I liked was um, Naruto's new look and uh, Kakashi and my guy are now inside the uh, the QB. <laughs> You're inside. <laughs> yes, but I guarantee you the QB can't feel him because of his uh... <laughs> pain. <laughs> um, Tron Naruto. I love the new outfit. I love the new outfit. I don't like the Tron reference. Uh, Sasuke. <laughs> I really just enjoy seeing all the bijus fight. Edo. That feels like the trees. Hello. Environmentalists beware. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to breathe. We're almost here to scare. Breathe. Ha ha! We're going to make a rap. That's awesome. Toby. I actually adored the uh, the fighting between the biju. It's like watching destroy all monsters all over again. I love Godzilla. I like Godzilla. I like Godzilla. <laughs> oh, it's Godzilla. So what did you guys think of this recap, Choji? I had fun being a black guy. <laughs> Haku. Just more action kind of things. Naruto. It actually went re- by really, really quickly this time. This is strange. We've been going through the manga really, really quickly when we've been using uh, Shonen Jump Alpha. So it's actually pretty good. Wasn't that much dialogue this episode? It was all yeah, fighting. Was yeah. Kakashi. Uh, I like how quick it went, and uh, I was a little creeped out. The guy was looking at my penis. <laughs> Kak- Kakuzu. Can I just shoot these people and get it over with? Because, yes, God yes, damn, yes, you can. can. Put, oh, put you and second. me out of our misery. <laughs> but ninjas don't need guns because they're that I spent awesome. your entire bank account on a rocket. Pain. I like the fact that it actually went quickly and didn't have as many fuck-ups as it usually does. Sasuke. I really have nothing to say about this recap. You don't know. support us at all! It was t-shirt. That's all. It was t-shirt? I was so too long. I thought you said it was t-shirt. Too short. Well, I'll show you Not all. long enough. Wait, 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 wait. Cute shorts? What? Cute shorts? Cute shorts. <laughs> booty shorts. Oh, yes. Booty, booty. Oh, booty shorts. shorts. No yes. shorts? That's Even right, that. it's the No Pants Podcast. No Pants Dance. I don't have any pants. Me neither. Tobesters. Karamo! He steps Karamo. on you. That's what you liked about, that's what you liked about our recap? No, oh, like the, the Godzilla references and that it went fast. And of course... <clears throat> yeah, I like how everybody's like, it went fast. <laughs> we don't have time. Fucking get it over with. Better be over and call me Sally. Oh God! Oh, my All right, so you... Why can't it be Betty or something? All right, so that is going to wrap us up for this episode, and uh, we are going to do what we do best and name this fucked up episode of the podcast. So, episode one hundred and thirty-seven. I think we're at. I can't remember anymore. Like one thirty-seven. Yes. There's been a Toby's Tales since now and then. So, one hundred thirty-seven should be what? Choji. QB versus Godzilla in three D. I like that. Haku. Pedro Bear returns. Naruto. Kurama inside. Kakashi. Your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Anyway. With the epic pickup right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. So so I've decided I've decided Kakashi, you should just name your penis Karama. <laughs> <laughs> or Oliver! You've already no, tried naming no, it. Bad. No, 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 you should name it you should name it Karama. That way you can put that, that way every time you can put Karama inside of Naruto. <laughs> Or other places <laughs> like that. I'll do it like exactly like that. You'll have to say it like that. No, no, okay. no, no, no. The best part, the best part is actually when she, when he finally does insert it. I'm gonna wonder if Naruto is gonna be like <laughs> inside. I will do it. I'll do it. <laughs> you have to call us back and let us know if you do. I'll call you right after and be like, guess what? What? Oh. <laughs> inside. <laughs> Just call me through Skype just so I can say inside. Yes. Karama pulled out. <laughs> 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 and, then he, and then he fired his beat you bomb all over you. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna turn we're gonna turn an entire sexual intercourse moment to a giant Naruto bar. <laughs> <laughs> I would laugh if someone actually did this. That would be great. Oh, well, dear uh, Lord, you will. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have the Naruto porno. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Let's animate this shit. Anyway, Kakashi. <laughs> I think it should be named Yo, I didn't know your acorns could be that small. Kakazu. <laughs> we'll just skip to the manga. <laughs> we'll just skip to the manga. Wizard skip? Hey, par skip? Pain. Where's the fucking tire and all? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> 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 Sasuke. I got nothing. That's perfect. Now tell me say it. 137, I've got nothing. Tell me say it. I've got nothing inside. Aww, you know. Kill all the trees and find Ted over. Toby. Brahma destroys all Biju. We'll go with uh, Kisame Hameha versus Tiger Uppercut. So... You fucker! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that is going to wrap it up for us, and we are going to play through all the ways that you can contact us. Be sure to check us out on iTunes and the feed, and be on the lookout for any special episodes like Yowie Corner and Perfect Place. Also be on the lookout soon for our outtakes, which we hope to post as two albums on iTunes, as well as our parodies. Remember to stop by and check out our website to listen or to watch our latest episodes. Remember to check out the podcast section for our link to our Mega Upload account where we have posted our first 50 episodes. Also, make sure to post on our forums as you may ask any questions of the staff that don't operate on Facebook. Be sure to send me some bacon as I love it very, very, very much. If you join, I shall send you a free painting of the TARDIS and a lifetime supply of bacon. You can check us out on Facebook where we will keep you updated whenever a new episode is posted up on the feed. You can also check our discussion boards where we will have a variety of subjects for you to discuss with the crew of Konoha Corner. Or our event pages, which has been updated whenever we are scheduled to do a panel. You can also check out and comment on our photos from cons, pics made for our podcast, and pics that fans have posted on our wall. So look up Konoha Corner on Facebook, and remember, beware of imposters. And if you would like to join us on DeviantArt, do visit KonohaCorner.DeviantArt.com where we have the largest Naruto gallery on DA, as well as a huge community of artists. You can participate in our contests, as well as find Enria 2002 and Yami no Kuni, who do our logos. You can also join our group of manga fans who put together fan out for the weekly manga chapters to be shown on our YouTube videos. Also, Sai runs our DeviantArt page, so please, if you are trying to join as Jonin or Chunin, uh, you have to get with Sai. He will send you a note if you are trying to apply for the position. You have 24 hours to get back in touch with him as he will let you know the terms and conditions of becoming a Jonin or Chunin. If you feel you're up to the task, please note him back immediately and we will add you as Jonin and Chunin. Also, make sure when you join, post up your images in the podcast submissions folder if you wish to join our fan art contest. One staff member each week will pick their top 20. That will go into a voting folder by the staff. They'll pick their top 10, and the entire community votes on the top five. Those f- top five winners, their images discussed on the podcast and invited to the episode to discuss their image. So make sure if you would like to have your image discussed on the podcast to submit 
any pictures that you want in the podcast fan art submissions folder. Be sure to follow us on Twitter as all of our updates from our Facebook page are up on Twitter immediately as they are posted on Facebook. You can use your phone to keep current with all things Konaha Corner. And remember, for every follower we get on Twitter, Toby donates a muffin to Kishimoto. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast because, wow, um, after Toby's Tales, I don't know if you can. All right, so, uh, yeah, but if you enjoyed that and you'd like to see us at conventions near you, first and foremost, uh, let your con chairs or whoever's responsible for guests or all of that stuff, let them know that we would like to attend uh, and give them the email so that they can get in contact with us. Of course, that's Podcast at gmail.com. Also, to help keep the show going because, dude, I mean... It, it costs money every month to keep this show going. We really need your donations. All you have to do is go to KonahaCornerPodcast.webs.com, click on that little donation button, and insert the dollar amount of your choice into Naruto's wallet. It's my wallet. <laughs> so uh, you can also go on to PayPal and uh, send us money mm. to KonahaCornerPodcast at gmail.com. Just type that in and gift us that amount of money. But please, while you're doing that, don't forget the reason why we're all here, and that's the Naruto series. Help keep your... No, not that guy, the other guy. Masashi Kishimoto employed. I almost said Hiro Mishima. Keep them both employed. <laughs> Keep them both employed. It's really, really easy to do. All you have to do is purchase the anime, manga, video games, and all the incredible swag that's out there. Show your support by being a fan, and just like our t-shirts say, be a ninja, not an internet pirate. Because we all know that the only cool kind of pirate there is, is a what, Naruto? What pirate? I am Gothic Guard. I'm saying the only way you could possibly listen to this show and have it make any sense is if you are drunk as a skunk. Yeah. I am Choji. I'm going down Hakuna. Bye. My name's Haku, and good lord, I need Tylenol. Go to Thailand. It's in my mouth. Uh, I'm Naruto, and get the Hilo. I'm Kakashi, and Naruto has to choose Oliver or Kurama. Kurama! Kurama! I'm Kakazu, and I'm just going to set Toby's room on fire now, so see ya. It's okay, I got a secret underground bunker. I'm Pain, and screw the town, or I'm going straight for the ibuprofen. This is Sasuke, and all I can say is, where the hell's my rice board? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I told you it was Evo! I'm Eno, and someone saved me! I'm on my way! Oh god, no! I'm Toby, and... <laughs> I just spent all of Kagazu's money on pudding. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that will wrap it up for us. We are signing out. Peace. Inside? Inside! Inside! <laughs> Father Mucker.